Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into a topic that affects every woman, ovarian aging. I know it's taboo to talk about aging women and there's many cringe-worthy consequences, but unless we name the gaps in knowledge and what is happening to bridge this gap, we won't get any further in changing this narrative. It's my mission to advocate for balanced health communication, awareness, and more quality research into this poorly understood yet natural life stage. So let's get into it. We tend to think about aging in terms of wrinkles or energy levels. But did you know that the ovaries age earlier and faster than almost any other organ in a woman? And its aging process has profound effects, not just on fertility, but on a woman's entire lifespan and well-being. Stick around to learn why and what the future might hold. So what exactly is ovarian aging? At its core, it's the progressive loss of physiological integrity in the ovaries. This leads to functional impairment and increased susceptibility to diseases. The most defining characteristic is a gradual decline in the number and quality of oocytes or eggs. This process ultimately leads to the loss of fertility. Let's think of it this way. A woman is born with a finite number of potential eggs stored in structures called primordial follicles. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that females are born with one to two million eggs and will have between 300 to 500,000 of these by puberty? That's because some of it is lost through a process called atresia, which is a natural, normal biological process. Back to primordial follicles. These follicles are slowly activated throughout a woman's reproductive life. Ovarian aging is primarily driven by the depletion of this follicular pool. This is not a linear process and can be influenced by genetic and environmental factors. The final stage of ovarian aging is menopause, where there are fewer than 1,000 eggs. This is a major transition point that significantly impacts a woman's health and quality of life. Beyond ending a woman's reproductive capacity, ovarian aging, and specifically menopause, brings immediate changes. We're talking about endocrine dysfunction and menstrual cycle abnormalities, often accompanied by well-known symptoms like hot flashes. And if you still believe that Asian women don't experience menopause symptoms, watch this video. But it's not just about comfort. Ovarian aging is linked to long-term health risks and contributes to significant healthcare costs. Menopause increases the risk of conditions like osteoporosis, cardiovascular disease, stroke, and even urinary incontinence. The decline in ovarian function can also negatively affect mental health, increasing sensitivity to stress and susceptibility to depression. This is where the impact goes beyond the reproductive system. The hormones produced by the ovaries, particularly estrogen, have widespread effects because estrogen receptors are found throughout the body. As ovarian function declines, it influences a broad range of age-related diseases across multiple organ systems. This includes the nervous system, circulatory system, bones, urinary tract, digestive system, respiratory system, and endocrine system. Specific impacts include changes to the heart, bone, and brain, leading to elevated risks of cardiovascular disease, osteoporosis, and cognitive impairment. It may also play a role in conditions like obesity, skin aging, chronic kidney disease, liver aging, type 2 diabetes, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Premature ovarian insufficiency, or POI, which is the loss of ovarian function before age 40, has even been associated with a reduced overall life expectancy. Conversely, reaching menopause later in life is linked to reduced mortality and increased lifespan. The postmenopausal drop in estrogen can make women more prone to chronic inflammatory conditions like atherosclerosis and type 2 diabetes. Estrogen has protective effects against oxidative stress and helps modulate inflammation. And remember, oxidative stress impacts almost all the hallmarks of aging. Check out this video on the 12 hallmarks of aging and how this impacts your biological age. At the molecular level, Ovarian aging involves several molecular mechanisms that are also linked to systemic aging and various disease processes. 
Number one, oxidative stress. As we age, the accumulation of reactive oxygen species, or ROS, increases due to the cellular processes and diminished antioxidant defenses, leading to oxidative stress in the ovaries. This condition can cause damage to essential molecules, including DNA, result in mitochondrial dysfunction, induce cellular senescence, and adversely affect oocyte quality. Number two, mitochondrial dysfunction. Aged oocytes often exhibit deteriorated mitochondrial function, which is marked by the accumulation of mitochondrial DNA mutations, decreased ATP production, and altered mitochondrial dynamics. Number three, DNA damage and repair deficiency. With aging, there is an increased accumulation of DNA damage, particularly in the form of double strand breaks, alongside a reduction in expression of DNA repair genes in ovarian cells. These impaired repair mechanisms contribute to lower oocyte quality and genomic instability, which are associated with chromosomal damage and likely play a role in menopause. Also, DNA damage can lead to cellular senescence and may help explain the connection between early menopause and other age-related diseases. Number four, chronic inflammation or inflammaging. The phenomenon of chronic low-grade inflammation known as inflammaging tends to increase with age and is a contributing factor to age-related diseases. In the ovaries, inflammation driven by an increase in macrophages and pro-inflammatory cytokines can lead to fibrosis, reduced ovulation, and diminished oocyte quality. This persistent ovarian inflammation may accelerate overall aging, while ovarian aging itself can contribute to immune senescence. The drop in estrogen levels post-menopause further exacerbates chronic inflammatory conditions like atherosclerosis and type 2 diabetes. Number five, advanced glycation end products or AGEs. These harmful compounds accumulate in the ovarian microenvironment as we age. AGEs can inflict protein damage, increase oxidative stress and promote inflammation, all of which contribute to ovarian aging and potentially hinder vascular health. Number six, protein metabolism dysregulation. Changes in protein metabolism, along with increased endoplasmic reticulum stress in aged oocytes, negatively impact their quality and reproductive potential. Severe endoplasmic reticulum stress is linked to apoptosis, further compromising fertility. Number seven, genetic factors. Genetic predisposition plays a crucial role in determining the timing of reproductive aging, including the onset of menopause. Specific genetic variants are associated with accelerated ovarian aging and primary ovarian insufficiency. The genetics governing reproductive aging can also influence broader health outcomes such as cancer, diabetes, and osteoporosis. Notably, genetic pathways like mTOR and FOXO3A, which are essential for ovarian function, also regulate overall growth and aging. Number eight, epigenetic alterations. Environmental influences can affect epigenetic regulation, leading to alterations associated with premature ovarian insufficiency. Proper epigenetic modifications are vital for reproductive health. Number nine, telomere shortening. The shortening of telomeres and reduced telomerase activity in ovarian cells correlate with premature ovarian insufficiency and diminished ovarian function. Despite its widespread impact, there's still so much we don't know about ovarian aging. Scientists have identified several significant knowledge gaps. For instance, the precise regulatory mechanisms behind the progressive decline in oocyte number and quality aren't fully understood. The underlying causes of conditions like diminished ovarian reserve and premature ovarian insufficiency are still poorly defined, and we don't fully grasp the relationship between these clinical types. This makes it hard to develop early diagnostic tools or personalized treatments. We need more understanding of how specific genetic variants influence ovarian function and whether genetic testing could be useful across different ethnic groups. The complex relationship between oxidative stress and processes like autophagy in the aging oocyte and surrounding ovarian environment still needs to be fully explored. We need to better define the factors affecting oocyte quality and quantity with age. 
It's also unclear how the initial pools of follicles is established in fetal ovaries and whether germline stem cells might exist in adult ovaries. Many of the specific molecular mechanisms involved in ovarian aging, such as the role of accumulated DNA mutations, telomere shortening, and energy production issues, are not fully understood. Crucially, the impact of ovarian aging on overall age-related diseases has been largely overlooked in research. Basic mechanisms controlling healthy aging in reproductive tissues need more investigation. There's also a general lack of understanding about how gender and sex differences influence health in older age. Many clinical studies still focus primarily on men, and data is often not broken down by age and biological sex. There's also a lack of research on how social factors impact aging differently for women. The good news is that researchers are actively working to close these gaps. Improving our understanding of ovarian aging is seen as crucial for developing effective interventions and promoting healthy longevity. One key strategy is identifying the genetic factors that contribute to ovarian aging using large population studies. Better methods for assessing ovarian aging are also being developed using follicle counts, hormone levels like AMH and FSH, and genetic testing. This could help guide fertility decisions or preservation strategies. Researchers are also using advanced techniques like transgenic or knockout technology and gene chips to study the molecular mechanisms in the lab. Long-term observational studies like the Jidong Ovarian Aging Cohort Study in China are being established to track the ovarian aging process and its link to health and quality of life over time. An exciting area is geroscience, which applies the understanding of aging pathways to reproductive health. The goal is to maintain ovarian fitness and promote reproductive longevity by targeting fundamental aging mechanisms. Understanding these pathways provides targets for potential therapies. Research is exploring interventions like stem cell therapies and cryopreservation of eggs or ovarian tissue to help women facing fertility issues due to aging. Assisted reproductive technology is a current strategy to bypass age-related fertility problems. Strategies to combat oxidative stress, a single factor in age-related decline, are being investigated. This includes boosting cellular cleanup processes like autophagy and using antioxidants like melatonin, resveratrol, and coenzyme Q10. Agents with anti-inflammatory effects are also being explored. Research into mitochondrial dysfunction is ongoing, looking for ways to potentially slow or reverse age-related changes by targeting mitochondrial health. Identifying the root causes and risk factors for ovarian aging is crucial. Modifying lifestyle and environment could help slow the process. Smoking, alcohol intake, psychological stress, and exposure to endocrine-disrupting chemicals or pollutants affects ovarian aging. Lifestyle strategies that improve diet and physical activity have been studied for their impact on conditions like urinary incontinence in postmenopausal women and attenuating aging pathways. Early hormone therapy during menopause can help manage symptoms and reduce risk of conditions like cardiovascular disease and osteoporosis, especially for women experiencing early menopause. Other potential anti-aging agents like metformin, rapamycin, and resveratrol are being studied, and more safety and efficacy research is needed. To learn more about these innovative therapies, tune into this video. Research is also exploring treatments that could help create new ovarian follicles, possibly using ovarian germline stem cells. The two main treatments being studied are, number one, intra-ovarian injection of platelet-rich plasma or PRP. Research on women with reduced ovarian reserve undergoing IVF has shown that PRP injections can enhance ovarian response. This results in lower FSH levels, higher AMH levels, and more blastocysts available for freezing. However, more studies are needed to confirm these findings. Number two, intra-ovarian injection of mesenchymal stem cells, or MSCs. Obtained from various tissues are being investigated for their ability to rejuvenate the ovaries. They may help by promoting blood vessel growth, encouraging cell growth, reducing cell death, modulating immune response, and regulate gene activity in the ovary. While the potential is promising, 
more clinical trials are necessary to assess the effectiveness for women with low ovarian reserve in IVF scenarios. From a research perspective, there's a critical need to improve animal models used in aging studies, particularly for middle-aged females, incorporating menopause, pregnancy, and breastfeeding states. Studies should also clearly report the state of ovarian aging, not just the animal's age. We need research that specifically looks at biological sex versus gender differences in aging biology. To improve the understanding of aging women, it's essential to include aging women in all relevant medical research and clinical trials. Data should always be age and sex disaggregated. Raising awareness about ovarian aging and its implications, especially among younger women, is also important for early health management. Educational programs in communities and healthcare settings could help mitigate negative impacts. Ultimately, collaboration amongst healthcare providers, policymakers, community organizations are needed to address the unique health challenges faced by older women, invest in their health, and improve healthcare delivery. So as you can see, ovarian aging is far more than just a reproductive issue. It's a key factor influencing healthy longevity and quality of life for women. While we've made progress in understanding the mechanisms and impacts, significant knowledge gaps remain. But with ongoing research, particularly through geroscience and studies into genetics, metabolism and lifestyle, we're getting closer to developing interventions that could not only extend reproductive lifespan, but also promote healthier overall aging for women. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might benefit. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next video on aging and health. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.